many of the conversations taking place at this ITMA will centre on how a circular economy for the textile value chain will be achieved. The European Union's strategy for textiles is calling for all textile products on the EU market to be durable, repairable and recyclable and largely made of recycled fibres by 2030. This will affect all textile manufacturers no matter where they are in the world. There's a refreshing new spirit of transparency as major apparel brands look to their suppliers for solutions, including the technology providers here. Let's find out more. So now I'm joined by Patrick from Santoni and Natalie from Kelheim Fibres and you've been working on a really interesting joint development. Can you tell us a bit about that project? So this was a project that we would develop all together and when Kelheim approached us, we knew that our technology perfectly worked for, for this development. In fact, our machines allow to make a product directly in one operation without any sewing operations after all and it's coming directly the product uh, made in the machine. So it's cutting drastically the entire production process. You don't need other machines involved in the process and make it much more sustainable. And do you think there's much more open innovation in the textile industry these days? Because obviously you've worked on a collaboration here. We can bring the innovations fastest to the market and we can also benefit from each other's knowledge. So it's great to work together with a machine manufacturer and also bring these benefits into the period planting. So now I'm joined by Andre at Erlecon. So we're going to kick things off by asking, in what ways is sustainability driving your agenda at Erlecon? So for sure, sustainability is a very important topic for Erlecon since decades. We started in 2004 almost with our e-safe technology development. And finally here at the show in Milan, we will present for sure new energy efficient and most productive technologies for the man fiber industry. So what innovations are you introducing at ITMA to assist your customers? We have several world premiers here at the show. We have a new air texturizing machine, a new Evo steam process for staple fiber polyester production. We will launch a digital academy. We have a digital twin. So it's really worth to come and enjoy our experience center to find out what is new at Erlecom. So now I'm here at Amogo. Now I wonder if first of all we could talk about Amogo's Dymax and its key benefits? Yes, I mean with the, the Dymax uh, we are bringing textile dyeing into the 21st century with a digitally controlled spray dyeing. So reducing uh, water, uh, carbon dioxide, uh, chemistry uh, use in the dyeing uh, dramatically. So the huge potential of Dymax has been recognised by brands who are seeking solutions to their sustainability targets. But how does that help suppliers like Amogo? It helps us a lot since uh, the brands, they have all set up very ambitious uh, environmental, uh, environmental targets and goals. And they, can, they have no chance of reaching this without new technology. So they have to push on their supply chains to implement new technology for them to have any chance of reaching their goals. So I'm joined now by Charles from Andritz. And to start things off, the recycling of fibres is currently a very hot topic. So could you tell us a bit about what's driving this? For me today, what's driving it's it's the market on a sense that it's our customers who are pushing us to find always new solutions to recycle all type of waste, which is going from nano-ovens, is going from uh, our post-industrial waste, our post-consumer waste. But also there is legislations. Uh, I know that there is in Europe, we have this 2025 legis legislation, which is obviously pushing the industry also to find solutions for, uh, for this matter of recycling. So I'm now joined by Thomas Grease. Now, I understand that you've developed a new digital ring spinning tester. So what's the significance of that and how does it work? Uh, there are two significance. One is technology-wise. It's for recycled fibers. Recycled fibers are shorter, so we have to deal with the technology. And of course, in recycling, the process line is shorter, so we directly spin out of the tau not from flyer. So it's not only a spin tester, it also provides gathering the data for the later scale up. So it's equipped with sensoring 
So once you do the uh, spinning with a small amount of fibers, later you can transfer it for the scale up to the uh, industrial production. Thanks for joining us for this look at how, supply chain wide, new partnerships are arising in the drive to establish more sustainable processes and fabrics. It's reassuring to see so many experts involved in the race towards circularity. We'll see you soon.